Hello, my name is Duncan and welcome to Back Away From The Donkey or Back To Books as we call it. Uh, it's a lovely Greek day here in the Northern Isles. So I'm still playing around with some lighting because it said it's pretty dark outside, but we'll see how we go today. So today is day seven of my books that I believe should be in the Sci-Fi Masterworks collection, which is just an eclectic scent, uh, selection of books that I think deserve a bit more love. Uh, the, the, the associated squeaky is obviously brought to you by Micah the Gorgeous Labrador and her squeaking her grumpy cat toy. And any other noises could be brought to you by anything that's around here. But anyway, the whole of this uh, little project I've done over the past seven days has been to bring, you know, a few books that I thought people could be interested in. Uh, I've done a playlist, which is below this video in all the stuff that's below, uh, which contains everything that I've done this week. Uh, and I said we've done six of them so far, so this is book seven. So book seven is Gordon Dixon's Lost Dorsey. Dorsey. And this is a novella, well, it's a novella and a short and two short stories. The novella is Lost Dorsey, or Dorsai, I don't know how you meant to pronounce it. Lost Dorsai, I think. Um, and there is the short story Soldier and Steel Battalion. This is a novella which is part of the what was known as the Dorsey Cycle, uh, it's also known as the Childers Cycle by Gordon Dixon. Gordon Dixon wrote a lot of science fiction and a lot of fantasy. Uh, the George and the Dragon, if you've not read that, it's worth reading if you're into a bit of fantasy of his. But this was a set of books that he never technically finished, but it doesn't really matter because they all work. The whole series works by itself. It, the fact that he never finished it because he sadly died doesn't really matter. The whole of Dorsey series was meant to be part of a bigger thing that was to follow you know the development of you know humankind so there was originally going to be three historically based novels which were going to be based in the 1300s and there's going to be some based in the 24th century another three there and the Dorsey ones are set in the 21st century which follows a bunch of mercenaries um called the Dorsey uh, Dorsey I don't know. I thought I could pronounce that word, but now I keep pronouncing it differently. But anyway, it follows a bunch of mercenaries. Uh, the whole thing is just that it all follows sort of the evolution of mankind. And that's what it all most is an allegory for. As much as it's sort of military-ish sci-fi, it's not military-ish in other ways, because it's far, it's far deeper. And Lost Orsi was my initial introduction to it, even though it's technically just probably the sixth book in the series. Because they, the way they follow, they don't really follow. And the main story, which is what I'm going to concentrate on, is a story of a military base which is surrounded. And the only people left in there are three of these mercenaries plus a band corps, a local band led by a uh, Dorset mercenary who no longer carries arms. And actually he's a pacifist, he won't kill anybody. And they are surrounded and they are trying to work out a way out of it. They've got some great lever, one of the Graham brothers, who uh, you will see throughout the whole of the series uh, to help them. But it's all, it's more of a description of ethics. And the ending of the book is almost turns on head the machismo of uh, warfare and, you know, the, the jingoistic attitude of, you know, banners and flags and things like this. It's really quite interesting in what they represent. It's quite hard to describe without giving too much away. But as an introduction to the Dorsey series, this was, I said this was my first introduction to it. It's what got me to read the rest of the books, uh, which start with Sodras Not. And I think it's a really, really worthwhile story. And it really, far more than it's on its base level, because I said it helps to sort of turn things on his head. And it's far, far deeper than it seems. So if you want an introduction to Gordon Dixon's Dorsey series, I would say look no further than Lost Dorsey because it will give you a feel of it. Because people look at it and think it's just a series about a military uh, science fiction series about um, warfare. And it's not. It's far, far deeper than that. It's not pro or anti-war. It's more following, you know, 
uh, development and the battles between, you know, progress and all the conservatism, you know, with a small c, you know, people trying to keep their, what they see as their traditions and normal values over the progress of the societies. Uh, and that's a sort of theory, a theme that goes throughout the whole of the series. And Lost Dorsey does touch on that. Uh, a lot of the actual novella that's in there. So I think this collection should be in a sci-fi multiple series for that. But also the second story in there, Soldier, uh, sort of follows the idea of, um, not tradition, what's the word I'm looking for? More duty. You know, your duty to people, a duty to promises that are kept. And what you should do in those situations. And that's really, really... It's quite a strong story as well. So both those stories, and obviously Steel Battalion, which is a short, short, and also a short story, well worth it. Um, but Lost Dorsey. I said I recommend it highly. I think everybody should read it, and I think everybody should look up Gordon Dixon's work. I said, as I said before, even though the whole of the series isn't technically finished, you can read it, it is, you're not missing much. It's a shame he didn't get around to finishing it, but it stands there as a great piece of work of his. So that's it. So that's the end of my um, books. I should be in Sci-Fi Masterworks. Uh, I may return to this subject later in the future, but at the moment I'm going to leave it at these seven, as I promised, and I said I'll leave them in the playlist. And if you've got any interest in the books uh, or you want any more information about it, feel free to comment below or contact me, and I will uh, see you soon. Thank you. Bye.